everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I'm gonna throw in another Eden run. I'm not sure if I'm ready to tempt fate with the lost run. That's key for the second run in a row. 8A, aww. 0V3Q. Um, I mean, so we also have the uh, attack fly as well, or revenge fly. Uh, it seems like pretty awesome starting damage stats as well. I can't really be too mad about this. This is a pretty solid start. Um, Revenge Fly is good if we can get the HP to make it so that we're not gonna die if we get hit anyway. Um, I guess we didn't need to use Dad's key there because we would have discovered if a secret room was uh, adjacent to that in the only possible location on the other way, blah blah blah. Um, I almost want to get hit here so that Revenge Fly can do all of my work for me. It's the laziest confession I've ever made, but I fucking hate First Floor Super Envy, dog. I mean, if you break it down into a manageable size here, it's not so bad. I mean, eating uh, a whole pizza is a gargantuan task until you break it down slice by slice. Then it's just, you know, eating your emotions one at a time. But this room, I've just got to distract myself with ill-conceived metaphors, and I still took damage. That being said, half a spirit heart loss doesn't bother me. Um, Shoop the whoop, we're not gonna take, because I feel like we should try to make two Mega Satan runs in a row happen here. Luckily, we didn't have to worry about that. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, maybe? No, no chance. I'm not worried about making sure that we get absolutely every single possible, like, dad's key potential outcome here. If we end up missing a secret room or two, you know, you gotta stop and smell the roses from time to time, man. I... This can't be our secret room. Or wait, no, no, it could be our secret room below us, by the curse room, which is actually, oh, this is a little dangerous now, but it's actually, like, really important because we can get into the curse room for free. Nope, no such luck. Holy Light is pretty awesome. We actually have four cents as well, as soon as we come out here and get this fourth cent. Um, we, and a luck upgrade along with it, which is sweet. It puts us in a position, <gasps> no! The spikes! Oh my god, BDV6 QTVV. Am I salty? I mean slightly. I wouldn't... I wouldn't say I'm not salty. <laughs> That's in the, the world's worst way to die though. I If I had just walked on them and not noticed until a second later, that wouldn't have been so bad. But what actually happened is I noticed as it was happening, so I tried to stop it, and it was like a fucking nightmare moment, man. It was like, you know, having a dream where you're falling. That's okay. It happens. It's hilarious to me that we lost it on an Eden run and not on a lost run. You know what? We got some freshness now. We got scatter bombs. How are these? Eh, they're not they're so horrible. I'm gonna use a couple of them to hopefully... Oh, we'll do some damage to the little horn. I really want to keep at least two and a half spirit hearts so we can get an easy, easy deal with the devil. Why is it an easy deal with the devil? Well, just think about it. Normal conversion rates. Ooh, that's pretty good. Growth hormones. Normal conversion rates on a deal with the devil are three spirit hearts equals one red heart. For converter, two spirit hearts equals one red heart. So it's much better to just convert two spirit hearts, save the third one, and then take a deal with the devil with the red HP that you started with. So I'm going to hold off on con on converter for now, but we may well find a good opportunity to use this. This is where I may differ from some people in the Isaac community. Even with a reroll machine in the room, I think that attack fly is well worth it. What the fuck are we going to do about this curse room? I would really like to go to it. Oh god, be careful. Hmm, we just got skeleton key. That's pretty sweet. Do I celebrate by going into the curse room, even though it fucks up our converter chance? Yes, let's do it. Great choice. That seems to be the right course of uh, right choice of outcome here. Look at that. Yeah, hell yeah. Ooh, sweet. Good job. Mm-hmm. That's some good shit right there, right there. Okay, but we can probably go to our shop, use a bomb, and buy a spirit heart anyway, since we have 99 keys now. There is no spirit heart for sale, but there. Oh, careful. There is recycle. And you know what? I think we should try to get it. Even at the cost of uh, our donation machine hating us. We get consumables when we pick it up. Beyond that, um, you might as well get restock early. Otherwise, what are you wasting your time for? Now if we get money, we can go to our shop and buy items, you know, nearly endlessly. At least that's the dream. 
Hold up, I'm just gonna check my audio levels. I'm super paranoid about this stuff now. Properties, levels. A little higher than usual, but not so high as to be deleterious. I appreciate that, okay. All right, don't screw yourself by walking on any freaking spikes. I think we will go through with this, and I do not regret this one bit. Curved horn. Good for many, many reasons. The obvious one being the extra damage. The less obvious one being now I'm going to be a little bit less incentivized to rely completely on attack fly, so I'm probably going to take a lot less damage than I otherwise would. Sweet. Uh, we can't get one penny for free there. It's something I'm going to in all likelihood probably go back and consider because there's literally no penalty to it whatsoever. Uh, I don't think you fight your boss first. If you can buy one spirit heart then fight your boss. You know, it's a much more palatable scenario. Three cent bomb? Nope. No three cent bomb. Four cent bomb? Probably not. I couldn't even see, well I, didn't, I don't even remember if there's a five cent bomb in there. Uh, might as well hit up our item room first. You never know, right? You never know what you might find in there. Don't appreciate the clockwise familiars as much. I don't know what it is. The counterclockwise familiars just seem more palatable to me. Maybe it's the way that I dodge and my natural preferences there. Uh, but the clockwise dodge into the attack here doesn't seem as good to me. Cricket's body is pretty sweet though. Um, we are going to have a little bit of a problem with our range. And of course if we end up getting fire mine or something like that well it's all going up in smoke but this is still pretty good for now pretty great for now actually we didn't get the tinted rock there are you kidding me we blew him up like right next to this uh okay well i think maybe take a quick peek for the secret room by moving this over here look it could have been on the right side but let's be realistic i'm not going over and pushing the barrel like for 20 minutes to get it to where it needs to be there so i I made a, what I felt was a well-reasoned guess there. There is a spirit heart. Let's get that. And then we can convert. And we'll convert before the boss fight? There was a three cent bomb on that fucking shop, by the way. Hilariously enough. I was looking for spirit hearts instead. It's been a long day of recording. My uh, already limited powers of observation may be leaving me somewhat. Hmm. I don't think it matters if you use it now or use it later, really. Either way, it puts you, like, one away from not being able to take a deal with the devil, unless the deal with the devil gives you HP in the process. So, uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other, I think. Toothpicks is great. Curse of the Blind, uh, is not going to be a factor here, apparently. At least make sure you take the spirit arts before you telepills out. Are you a wizard? Alright, uh, well, we're done. Curve Torn is awesome. Toothpicks is awesome. Nothing else really went perfectly for us there, but, uh... Life goes on. Are you a wizard certainly means that I'm going to be a little skittish about these guys up in here, but that's what attack fly is supposed to be good for. We just keep backing it up. Okay, one bomb. So much more valuable than 98 keys right now. You never know when one spirit heart is going to make all the difference when it comes to converter here. Oh my god. The fact that we can now shoot straight again. I never thought it would be this big of a deal. Of course, whenever you get Are You a Wizard, you're like, this is annoying. But it was, like, really annoying there. Makes Cricket's body, like, ten times worse when you can't even tell what it's going to do for you. All right. Well, you know what? I've detoxed from that uh, from that terrible loss there. That took us from 11 or 12 wins to zero. In a row, at least. Not zero all time. That would be ridiculous. With scatter bombs, it's possible, albeit perhaps unlikely, that um, we could buy enough, or sorry, we could blow up enough uh, donation machine. We could blow the donation machine up enough to get maybe BFF, which would be great for our fly. I don't think car battery works with converter. Um, I mean, the initial human assumption is probably to be, wouldn't it be sweet if it did? You'd get two red heart containers for two spirit hearts, but I bet if it works, it probably tries to chew two. So it just leaves you in pretty much exactly the same position. Now, I don't know that for a fact, but I will say that is indeed my guess. I'll take Dead Bird. It's not particularly amazing. With BFF, it becomes slightly less not particularly amazing, but still, you know, firmly within that camp, I'd say. I'm going to try something here. We did find the second secret room. I thought maybe the scatter bombs would push bombs to the point where they'd access that chest for us. 
but that's okay. It didn't work out. Um, we should have a chance to deal with the Angel here, maybe. I don't have any bombs unless we get uh, Matchbook, maybe, here, or the box. And we don't have a deal with the Angel anyway, so let's not sweat it too much. You know what? I think now, let's, uh, let's be sensible. We have a reasonable amount of starting HP right now. It feels good for the first time ever. Uh, if we can continue stacking these up, the same way I say, like, it's worth it to trade Spirit Heart or Red Hearts for Spirit Hearts, like, one for one in the late game, it's probably worth it to trade Spirit Hearts for Red Hearts two for one whenever possible in the early game because of the fact that um, they're replenishable. And if you lose them, they're gone forever. But if you can actually manage to replenish them, uh, like the, the Red Hearts, that is, then you're, you're turning, like, a passive or a, a temporary benefit into a permanent benefit, I mean to say. Uh, which is, is obviously something that's going to trend positively for you if you manage to do it consistently. Algiz, I'm pretty stoked for. Um, I don't know when we're going to use it quite yet. I mean, I feel like damage-wise this run is great. It's just suffering on HP. I haven't even really been hit that much, honestly. What you need to do, you know... At, like in Usher's Yeah, he says... Need a lady in the street and a freak in the bed. We need a converter in the in the basement, but a guppy's paw in the womb. It doesn't really work as well. But you get the idea, though. You know, we convert one way right now, and then convert the other way when we get down to the next floor, uh, or the, the next series of floors, at least. And then we just reap the gains of trade, man. It's Econ 101. Which I don't remember very much of, because I took via correspondence. But... I'm pretty sure that gains of trade and economies of scale were indeed a part of that course. Um, unfortunately, I don't think, even with one perfectly placed scatter bomb creating bomb, I don't think we're getting enough to buy anything from, uh, from the shop. So I'm actually going to take a Hail Mary here. Try to get like a magic mush. Instead, we got a bad trip. That, you know, serves me right for being a little bit, uh, trying to cheat the system a little there. This floor is going to be interesting because we really can't take damage if we want to get a deal with the devil. Um, and I do. Or a deal with the angel for that matter. Either one. Free items, man. Free items. What's this? I found pills. Could be worse. Has been worse. Our damage is so good. It would be such a shame to watch this run slip away. Um, the good news is with Lazarus Rags, at least we have like a, a get out of jail free card once. And that is, you know, not really... Super confidence inducing, but just getting at the fact that, you know, we're not sunk as soon as we make one mistake. Haven't taken red heart damage on this floor. Probably want to blow that guy up to get a better deal with the devil chance. Even more so than deals with the angel. Give me enough money to go to the shop so we can buy a spirit heart. We got 97 keys. I like this guy. I like this guy. Let's um, impose our HP on this transaction. Paid out with pills. I don't like that at all. Retrovision? I did all that for freaking Retrovision? Lucky we still got Algiz, man, or I would be disappointed. A lot of people are probably going to say, why didn't you just use Algiz to uh, play the Demon Judgment? If it had gone further, I probably would have. But, you know, Red Hearts are easier to come by than a rune that gives you invincibility for like 30 seconds. Well, probably like 20 seconds at most, but still. You know, it, it's it's definitely a question of rarity, and we can replenish our red hearts much more easily. Although, to be fair, we are probably in a riskier position than many people would like to be in, possibly myself included. To put it as diplomatically as we can, but uh, to put it as undiplomatically as we can, I know best. Do as I say, because I'm your father. That's that's undiplomatic, I guess, but sometimes right, man. You know what? Will Smith said parents just don't understand. Sometimes I think kids just don't understand. Whoa! Dropping the real talk here. I'm just being facetious. Whoa! Okay, you know, that's, that's not that big of a word. Thanks for flattering me, though. Okay, Maggie's bow is... It's not really, like, a amazing get here. It's not bad, uh, but... I don't, I don't think I would look to it to really change the tone of the run too much, unless we also get... Oh, that was scary. Also get maybe Bloody Penny or something to go along with it. 
I can't believe after getting shop restock, we got like three fucking cents this whole run. Now, I bought like a couple consumables, but that's it, man. It's not like I've been buying the, the store out every single floor. I'm buying, you know, bread and milk. Okay. Let's see. It's the hollow. That's a gift from above. The easiest boss fight we could probably expect right now, especially with our damage. We did get a deal with the devil. It's not Krampus. Um, check this shit out. Trade 2 HP. Grab that. Convert it back. Get 1 HP back. Grab this. Get the hell out of here. What did we do there? I don't know. It was all a flurry of basic arithmetic. Um, but we, we wanted to take Satanic Bible over the converter. And uh, we were lucky enough to be able to make that happen. And we also used it to give us 1 HP when we spent 2 to pick it up. Which I think it was like a little bit of a refund there. But we did lose the other black heart we had in the process. Which could cost us a deal with the devil on this floor. So even though it might have looked uh, like the right play. I think it is one of those situations where maybe uh, the, the repercussions of it could be temporarily unforeseen. 9 times out of 10 I would expect to take damage on that room. So what about algas, man? Honestly, if our damage gets slightly better, you could probably persuade me to do boss rush. And I mean that sincerely. As it stands right now, um, I think that would be a recipe for probably certain death. But if we can just pick up like a few more damage upgrades, I could be I could be all in for that. I am gonna go to our curse room as well. Um, probably makes the most sense to not do that right now. I mean, wait. Until things die down a little bit. Man, a range downgrade? Really? I'll still do it because I'm an idiot, but let's, uh... Let's recognize in advance that this is probably not the right out... Or not the right uh, course of action. However, the outcome was fantastic for us. Two spirit hearts. Basically gained one spirit heart for coming in there. Honestly, at this point, I don't really want to fight this room for 3 HP and a bomb at the cost of a key, but... Money has been really, really hard to come by. So if you want to, you know, if this is what it's going to take to make it happen, then I guess I, I might as well just be content with it. 99 keys. That's, you know, I mean, I wish we had like 47 keys and 47 bombs. Sad Onion is really good. Joker card, I'm going to use right now because I really want to keep Algiz. And Empty Vessel is actually pretty excellent as well. We get the Spirit Hearts or the Demon Hearts out of it. Uh, and Occasional Invincibility, which I think happens whether or not we're at 0 HP. And then if we get to 0 HP and Black Hearts or Spirit Hearts, uh, we gain a passive ability to fly. Which we can lose if we then, uh, you know, gain HP. But this is really, really good if you have the, the capabilities to keep yourself... At low HP. At least that's my estimation. But I think that's not even very controversial at all. I think most people tend to agree that uh, Empty Vessel is pretty close. Maybe not like exactly there. But pretty close to a top tier uh, space bar item. Or uh, deal with the devil item rather. Unfortunately we're not really going to get the maximum benefit out of it right now. We may never get the maximum benefit out of it. But uh, it certainly won't be right now. And it won't be on this floor. Unless we get a, a random... You know, Guppy's Paw somewhere. Hmm. Steam Sale showed up at, like, exactly the perfect time. Sure, I'll buy the ladder. What else you got for me? Bogo Bombs? This is a bad day to be a donation machine in this world, I'll tell you that much. It's a hard world out there, I'll tell you that much. Seven cents. Bogo Bombs. Um, I mean, it doesn't make this fly bigger. So in a way, I kind of don't care about it, but Hive Mind is really good if we ever get Guppy or Infestation 2, which are really good in their own right. So it stacks up from really good to really great to that's some good shit right there, right there, that's some good shit, etc, etc. Maybe if we got like Pageant Boy here, I'd be stoked. That was the worst damage. Even as I was dodging right into that bullet, I was like, I'm not fast enough to make it. It turns out I was incorrect. I was fast enough to make it after all. Okay, what do you got for me? Ah, we got our deal with the devil anyway, so it's kind of a waste to use the Joker card. But we get to keep Algis, which is worth it in my mind. Probably I'd rather have the Joker, but not by too much. Uh, and, of course, picking up Synth Oil here is beautiful. Ah, nice, very clever. Picking up Synth Oil here is beautiful because it takes us very close to Spun. 
which we actually could have just gotten right there. Right there, but we didn't. Um, instead we got, oh no, we couldn't have gotten it. We would have gotten nine lives, because that was not lust, it was ultra lust, but, you know, you the, in theory, we weren't too far off from having a chance to get it right there, right there. Um, yeah, I mean, this is obviously a good situation for us. The synth oil pickup is good on its own right, and uh, substantially made better, or made substantially better, by the fact that, uh, oh, that was bad. Could contribute to a, a plus two damage upgrade for us really, really soon. Hopefully that ends up being the case. We are on boss rush floor. I have no desire to not do boss rush. I would prefer to teleport out. May or may not be plausible. It's a two room. Rerolls all consumables on the ground. I would like the black heart. I will reroll everything else. Got golden bombs. So many retrovision pills, man. Steven, okay. The golden chests have been made very worthwhile. Enough money to buy a couple of different items. And Ansus. You want in here? I don't know why the cat always wants to party in here. There's no party to be had in here. It's just recording, man. Uh, looks like a pretty much straight shot to the boss fight here. So the shop is going to be big. We can buy three items. You know, if we don't like two of the items that are on display, we could buy one to purge it and get another one. Or we could um, donate a little money. Because I have taken probably close to 40 cents out of it this time. Maybe even slightly more than that. As much as I'm loath to admit it. Well, it's another fly item. Are we Beelzebubbed? No. In that case, I'd say it's pretty bad. Loss Protector is... Uh, it's not Lost Protector, sorry, this is like Biggest Fan, or not Biggest Fan, so, Stalker Fly, I can't remember what it's supposed to be called. However, it's uh, it's not great. Worth the chance there. Uh, I don't even care about the battery charge, because we're already at full HP. Sure, it makes sense to carry a full battery charge with you. Um, when you're at full HP, you're effectively at full HP plus one. I also don't really care about that. I don't think it's going to matter too much for us. This will be a great opportunity to pick up Chaos, like, immediately. Small mistake here. I'm going to make deliberately out of laziness. We should use our Golden Bombs to get into the shop rather than using a key, which is what I'm going to use. You know what? I have faith we'll get another Algiz rune in here. If not, we'll get something better than Algiz we want to take with us. The Gaz, Percano, Perthro, Ansus. I don't know. We might have struck out on that one. Let's take Perthro. To be honest with you, uh, 97 keys is effectively infinite keys. Uh, sure, we'll take the battery. And you know what? We'll take Mom's key for some extra luck. I think we will, unfortunately, for our donation machine, uh, go back on our previous plea. And we will instead buy the compass. Do we care about black candle? I mean, enough to use a bomb, I'd say. Yeah, why not? 484 cents? I mean, this is why you donate to the machine in the first place. Piggy bank, I don't care about at all. So I think we take our Joker card so we can get out of boss rush. And maybe this means we don't get to take our Perthrow rune. Maybe that's completely fine. And by maybe, I mean that's definitely going to be completely fine. Okay. Take this. Yes. You know what? We haven't taken Mom's Knife in a while. Let's take it. Does it ruin Cricket's body? Yes. I'm okay with that. Quarter. Mm, Daddy Long Legs. Serpent's Kiss. Yes. Now we have Empty Vessel as well. I'd just like to point out. We'll Joker card out. And head down to the next floor. And with the compass, this should be pretty much set in stone now. Um, that, that we're going to win, if, in case that wasn't clear. I admit, uh, I, I was kind of attached to our tier effect. Mom's knife hasn't showed up in a while, though. And if nothing else, we lost at the start of this video. So I feel, uh, I feel compelled to take something that's going to change that. Oh, that would have been a good chance for spun. But you know what? You fudged it up. It's weird how the knife trails behind us, uh, like a little staggered. I don't know what's up with that. Don't really care about those pills. Might as well pop this here, but we are going to lose one HP by going into that curse room. Um, and you know what? I regret nothing. We got a guppy item out of it. Do we have any other guppy items? I don't know. We're going to take this one with us. Which means we definitely should have taken uh, 48 hour energy first, but... Uh, nobody makes me bleed my own blood. This is getting to be some sloppy damage at this point. 
this is even sillier. The fact that I somehow didn't get hit there. Um, I used a bomb to try to cheat my way out of that room, but ended up not being super relevant. This is the worst damage. Yo, brain, get your shit together. Pop your AWAS rune. Feel good. 48 hour energy will save for maybe uh, Hush if we want to do it, but if we don't want to do it, uh, I guess for Blue Baby. There we go. Get a little extra HP back. Can't just hemorrhage HP all the time. Eventually, we got to get some back for ourselves as well. This is good. Get the box. Feel better about your performance. The Lover's card for the 19th time is worthless. Uh, we definitely want to keep Curved Horn. We definitely want to keep 48 hour energy as much as it's not that useful here. And we will take Dark Matter as well. Okay. Still in, well not still in, like I've put myself in a scary situation here that we really had no reason to put ourselves into. Mostly I'm not sad about the mom's knife pickup, I'm sad about the silly damage I'm taking. Hagalaz. You never know, maybe there could be a black market or something in there. But we should be completely fine. If this one goes wrong, that's that's a sign to take a day or two off Isaac and you know, come back with renewed vigor, because this would be a little embarrassing. I think we should try to stack up, um, where do you think our secret room is? Stack up flies, like only pop the uh, guppy's head at the end of a room? Maybe, maybe not. Not a secret room. Okay, so we're going to have to do big room unless it's down here further, which it could be, which it is. Uh, let's blow this guy up for a better deal with the devil chance. Playing a little fast and loose here. You know what? I would love to have four extra bombs that split into like three bombs each. That's fine by me. I think we're probably safe to say that we don't need any more keys. And there's our boss fight. Easy enough. Well, in, in one room. After getting hit on this room, possibly, probably not. Okay. Mom fight. Are we going to fight Hush? I mean, we do have 99 keys, we just don't have a lot of HP, and that's kind of the kiss of death. Let's see what our deal with the devil gives us. Thank you, Empty Vessel. No deal with the devil, that's what I get for having such ridiculous confidence. You know what? Sure, we got Empty Vessel. I feel bad that we got such high damage. Let's force ourselves to play better. Come down here, get Curse of the Maze. Like, not a problem at all. Lots of consumables. Um... We got like four different heads, none of which I'm huge fans of, or I'm a huge fan of. Reroll all of our stats or take Sister Maggie. Okay. Tell you what, Broken Watch, Boomerang's not that good. Buy five Spirit Hearts instead. Get as many flies as you can. Check the card, it's Strength, Judgment, blow his ass up. Joker? Fight Krampus? What is happening here? Lump of coal. Okay, I mean, I guess that's that's a good thing, probably. Got a black heart. Uh, strength. Lucky toe. No, we want curved horn. Um, other item room. I don't think we want fat odd mushrooms, sadly. I guess we take all three of these. You know what? I'm going to reroll my stats just see what the hell happens. We are ridiculously fast. That, I will tell you, with authority. Um, we can always pop our strength card if things are looking absolutely heinously terrible. Uh, I think I've fucked my damage a little bit. But I figured that with the reroll, there's almost no way I could fuck it hard enough that we were destined to die. So, I hope I'm correct about that. We at least got two black cards here. I shouldn't have used that other one. Um, should have saved it in case we took too much damage, but... I mean, that's what Empty Vessel's around for. Uh, not Empty Vessel. Serpent's Kiss is around for. is to give us HP that I feel like we wouldn't have otherwise had access to. And I guess the extra poison damage doesn't hurt either. Honestly, this is not going poorly so far. All, all we need to really sell this one now is a Mega Satan pickup. Oh, there we go. You know, Omega Satan. The beginning and the end. The all-knowing boss. Another black card in there. I mean, that's the benefit of, of having this invincibility is that we can really get in there without uh, causing ourselves really much danger at all. That was pretty dumb. Um, hopefully we can get more empty vessel invincibility in situations that I wasn't necessarily anticipating. 
throw some bombs in here. Anything that'll do a little crowd control, because the continuum shots are gonna, yeah, they're gonna fuck your life up a little bit, so. Okay, invincibility. Please pop up. Thank you. Even just popping up for a second, man. We get two knives on you. It's a good day to be alive. It's a good day to be a knife. Yeah, bad dodge. But, again, the fact that we get so many, uh, so many black hearts semi-naturally here is pretty sweet. Leave that other one there just in case this goes terribly wrong. Weirdly enough, I think that this is like an absolutely ideal hush fight. Like, this hush fight has actually done me more good than harm. That never happens. So I'm, I'm living in a bubble, baby. The bubble's not reality. You gotta have a look outside. Eiffel 65. But that hush fight made me stronger, despite only giving me items that I think are kind of shitty. Well, I mean, broken stopwatch could be okay, but apart from that, like, kind of struck out there. And I think my D8 might have screwed me, but apparently it didn't screw me enough to, to really ruin the, the run. So I guess thank you for that. Now that we have the battery, we can get uh, double charges from a single room, it looks like. Unless I, like, am really confused about what happened there. Excuse me. Again, couldn't care less about keys at this point. It looks like there has to be a path going this way. Um, we do have a small guppy chance, so three red chests, which is exactly what we got there, I think is worth at least testing. One makes you small is also fine. Speed down honestly bothers me not, because we were a little too fast for our own good, I think. You heard the movie Too Fast, Too Furious? Of course, yeah, it's one of the nation's most popular film franchises, and it's one of the entries therein. I was so fast, I was furious. That joke it took a little too much setup to be completely terrible. I figured we'd take the uh, Bob brain, because we also got the Bob head, which means we're getting close-ish to being a Bob. Did we had Emperor Emperor? No, we had Emperor Strength. Um, I'm going to break my own rule because we're halfway down the cathedral, and I'm going to use the Emperor on the chest. And I hope you will forgive me, but we're so close to being done with the the cathedral that I don't want to, really want to use Emperor here at the risk of possibly, you know, hurting the rest of the run. I, I think we'd probably win regardless, even without an Emperor card. I'd be relatively confident in our chances for success here. Why not just take it, you know, to the basket, do an easy layup, you don't need to do a windmill dunk. Steve Nash didn't did, didn't win three uh, MVPs there, uh, you know he's Canadian, by doing windmill dunks. He was doing it by, you know, making good passes and layups. Steve Nash didn't win, didn't win three MVPs. Oh, what you wanna do about this, baby, I wanna get a better please. That's supposed to be the spin doctor's little miss can't be wrong. Yeah, I'll take mom's knife, tiny planet. I don't give a fuck. My mom tells me not to smoke and do drugs, but I'm like, whatever, mom, I'm nine. I can do whatever I want. Kids in the Great Depression were already being full-time bovine farmers back then. Yo, stop pushing me around. I don't care if you will and you will, Rob Thomas. This is the end of our run. Thanks for watching. I hate that we died early, but I love to watch it leave. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.